And our guest of honor tonight is former Vice President Joe Biden. This is going to be exciting, George. I've given every audience member a glass of warm milk and a blanket. Now, who's ready to have some fun with facts and figures? Good evening, America. I am surprise badass Savannah Guthrie. If you were angry at NBC for doing this town hall, just let me get a few questions in and I think you'll uh, thank me. Joining me tonight is President Donald Trump. Thank you, Serengeti. It's great to be here, even though, woman. We have lots of voters waiting to ask questions, but I'd like to start by tearing you a new one. Why won't you condemn white supremacy? I do. I do condemn it. I've always more or less condemned it. I, okay. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Melody. Uh, the coalition of color, my brother, rock your crown. I'm here to show you the power inside the color brown. Now's the time to open up your mind to what they tried to hide from the real royalty. Open up your chakra from your brain to your feet and really realize what's inside and believe. Got God on my side and I ride with a queen as we travel on this journey. I'm going to show you what I mean when you open up your eyes. When you know what your worth is, never no surprise. Spirit of the sun, navigating stars. Times are getting better when you feel them getting hard. Like. What's up? And welcome back to the Coalition of Color. If you're new to our channel, we're all about uniting, educating, developing, and advancing melanated community in America. If that's something that you like, please subscribe. And make sure you hit the notification bell so you know every time we drop a new episode. So, in this midweek rant, we'll be talking about uh, what took place instead of the second presidential debates, which was <laughs> the town, town halls. Hall. The rivalry town halls. Now, were let's rivals. just real quick give you a breakdown of how this happened, right? All right, there was presidential debate number one, vice presidential debate uh, happened. And we, right around that time, we found out Trump contracted like COVID. COVID, right? So Biden, old as I don't know what, is like, nah, I'm not I'm going not in doing it. this debate. But what we can do is we can do it on a Zoom. We can right. do it uh, on a screen. Right. So Trump was scared that they was going to cut him off. Because remember, he, he was bullying the whole <laughs> first time. Right, right. Don't blame him. Right. He didn't want them to cut him off or whatever. So he said he don't agree to that. He's not going to do it in that way if the baby is supposed to be in person or right, whatever the right, case right. may be. Well, Biden didn't agree to that. So with that being said, it was off. Biden said, I'm not going to let this stop my show. Yep. And he's scheduled for that night because in lieu of the, the virtual debate. The virtual <laughs> debate, right. He scheduled the town hall. So right. the town hall or was scheduled for him. And about two days after <laughs> Trump gets out of Walter Reed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right, he's right, like, right. okay, I'm, I'm back on. Uh, <laughs> so let me go ahead and say, yeah, let me schedule hall. this too. Instead of saying, let's do this debate, they were on rival networks. Yep. Uh, don't NBC, get me the line. ABC. Okay, the two C's. Yeah. And, um, and yeah, it was just two totally different town halls. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Trump's was what you could have expect of the Trump town hall, um, except he was a little bit. He had a little bit of restraint. He, he showed he a little bit of restraint. He was um, right, and we can get into that. Biden, to me, was dry. But he's always dry. dry and dry, I dry, think dry, that dry, that dry, might, dry. if he loses the election, that might that might be the, the point. Like, <laughs> right. just because he just has no, like, nobody's going to believe that he's right. going to do uh, anything. Right. You know, like, right. I, I don't know. You're, just, you're, you don't seem believable. Yeah, he seems like your grandfather that's going right. to fall asleep in the middle right. of telling you the story about how he had to walk five right. miles through the snow to get to school or exactly. something like that. Okay, so if I'm being honest, they were they both were. on at the same time. I was busy. I knew I wasn't going to be able to focus on both of them at the time. Right, you know right, right, right. I would go back and watch right. it. But at the time, I chose to watch Trump. Yeah, me too. Uh, <laughs> just because <laughs> I felt like it was going to keep me up. You me know too, what I'm saying? Right. Help me well, out. I definitely was in it, boy. That was interesting. Yeah, it was. What was up with this in the yes. background? You yes. know, like black chicken that, red and like, white. Obviously, there are some black women and black men that support Trump, so maybe she wasn't paid, but to sit right, I feel like optics were definitely a thing for him in that way. Like, you put her there for a reason. Yeah, well, I, his campaign might have. I think she 
wanted to be like, hey, I'm the next Marlboro right, or something right, like that. Right, 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 right. I got your back. Right, and right. I'll, be on your side. I'll speak yeah, for the black community exactly. yeah, on I behalf. Think, yeah, because uh, right. I don't know. So, uh, Savannah Guthrie, I think her name is, I can't, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing her last name right, but uh, forgive me if I'm butchering it. But she, the best moderator. Listen, listen, okay? I don't think I've ever seen anybody question Trump the way she no. dug in that booty. Okay? And she's relatively new when you think of all the correspondents or reporters or journalists that he's spoken to. Like, he's been talking to some vets and you look at her, okay, man, she handled him. Listen, <laughs> okay? I was so surprised. And then while I was watching her, like okay she got some black nail polish on her like i was i was i was low-key peeping her style before she started asking the question what does that mean right i don't know I, I just feel like a certain type of woman wears black nail polish you know what, what i mean kind of woman? on camera what kind of woman uh, is that? like a badass woman you oh, know okay, what i mean okay, like okay. just like a biker chick like somebody who is gonna tell it like it is regardless and it and, and because she's on tv she has a, a decorum about herself where it's like listen um i'm not gonna take this mess like i clearly have an opinion about what's been going on i'm not gonna let you just sit here and lie to my face when i know it's a lie so i'm gonna call it i'm gonna call it spade a spade and call it out i rocked with that i think savannah would just hold him like when Chris Wallace asked the question and Donald Trump did not answer the question, right? I feel like Savannah would have right. been like, hold up, hold, go back. Let's go back. <laughs> let's move on. Listen, you just asked something totally different. Right, right. The question was, do you think that that takes the place of a central debate? At that town hall? Yeah. Well, technically, yeah, it does. And the only reason I say that uh, is because the second debate is typically a town hall style. Correct. You know, it's just... Usually one of the candidates doesn't have a contagious uh, pandemic catching right. disease, you know what I mean? So I think um, I think that was appropriate. It would have been nicer had they been able to debate each other, but for safety reasons, I understand why it wasn't. I still feel like Trump was held accountable. I don't feel like Biden was challenged enough, you know what I mean? Um, I just feel like uh, because people are so concerned with Trump winning the election, they, if they're trying to toe the line and walk on eggshells when you're interviewing, right, the Democrats and, and the liberal I agree with that. media, I agree you know? With that. And I, I do think that that's not necessarily clear. It does it's give not. a skewed slant it to like what the intentions of the next four it years does. are going to be. Right. We're being impartial here, you know, at the end of the day. We know less about Biden than we know about Trump. Um, the general public, yeah. yeah. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. it's just like, they're throwing, they are throwing him so far for the question. It's, it's, it's unfair, but I do get what that side of the aisle is saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. As far um, as bad publicity is concerned. Yeah, 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 yeah. They are focusing on Trump. They are trying to put it out there. But is it well deserving? You yeah, yeah. Saying? I like, mean, it's not so like they're saying false right. things. Right, that's what I'm saying. It's not well, like it's fake some news. Some people say that it's false. Some things are Maybe, maybe on how you're skewing the public to look at it and feel about it. Maybe, so maybe that the part. Are the demo, ooh, don't sound like one of them. Uh, so, is well, that not... Well, don't say one of them, because black people, we're all, you know, we're, we're supposed to be seeing both sides. But yeah, I don't see yeah. anything wrong with being a Republican. Right. I don't see anything that. wrong with being uh, uh Yeah, I see I see something That's, wrong yeah. with trying to get Trump back in. Right, right. So, After what we've lived through. And I feel like it, right now, if you're saying, you know, you're voting the Republican way, which is the way of Trump, naturally like I'm opposed to your view. You know right. Saying? That right. Any disrespect to it. But, right. Uh, I don't think Trump is the is the best one. However, so if I'm arguing from the Trump supporter side, right? Uh, when Trump says stand back and stand by. Versus saying stand down. Is it possible to be so flustered that he didn't say it like a lot of people have been saying? He just misstated, he misquoted. Okay, so let's just say for argument's sake, if that's the case. Then all I would say is the Democrats and the left side had a field day with that. Well, you see no, what I'm saying? No, and it wasn't necessarily. Right, so, Justin, because think about it. You 
have access to your media. All you had to do was get on Fox News the next day and say, of course I denounce white supremacy. Yeah, of course. Yeah, well, 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 check this out. Check this out. It's all about optics. And if your people are going to vote for you, regardless of what you do, bro, they're going to vote for you. You're trying to get those people that are undecided. All you had to do was say, listen, of course I support black America, and of course I denounce white supremacy. They know from all of your previous dog whistle shit. You could have gotten on, on Twitter and said something to support the the, the white supremacy. Like you do anyway. You know what I mean? So you could have done something. Some things you could do to win, you don't do because you're so ignorant. But what's crazy is Biden is so drastic. Yes, yes. I feel like uh, I feel like what he thinks his strongest attribute to America is is the fact that he was a bomber. You yep. know what I'm saying? Yep. Like he, just he thinks that automatically that. guarantees him our vote. And I feel like this campaign uh, are dodging a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. We'll see what happens after, mm -hmm. after, after. Mm -hmm. And I get it. I get it. You don't want to do anything that might sway somebody right, right. right now. You know what right. I'm saying? But the American people want to know like, right. what what's now, the next four years look right. like. Before Who should we, we vote commit for? to you. I mean, substance wise, neither one of them. No. No. Real substance. substance. No. Uh, you know, everybody was more so dodging questions and trying to answer the questions that were asked of them in the most political way, you know, PC way, yeah. politically correct way. So we got you, because you got so many people who are on the fence like that. Right. So I'm not sure if you guys know this, but um, right now, early voting is taking place. So Over there are, states. yes, so there are thousands of people that have already voted, right? This is a big thing, but don't be confused by this because right now the polls say that biden is in the lead which will have you believe that half democrats are voting and half republicans are voting which is absolutely just not the case right republicans aren't voting in early in the polls show that the republicans aren't voting registered republicans are not voting in early voting right so if that's the case the only votes that are being counted in poll are democrat votes and we know that most democrats are voting for Joe Biden. So it would appear that Joe Biden is in the lead when in actuality, Trump is very confident that his voters will show up and show out on November 3rd. The whole point is, um, we're encouraging everybody to right. vote. However, if you were planning on voting, what we're saying is don't say, oh, I don't want to go deal with the long lines that I might, or anticipate or whatever the case may be, just because it looks like right. Biden is going to win. Right. Remember, it was looking like Hillary was going to Right. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, Right. Just, no matter what it is, still make sure your voice is heard. Um, and your like vote say, is counted. You go for Trump, nothing against you, but we're saying that uh, Biden is probably a good candidate. <laughs> I'm just black. saying. November right. 3rd, 2020, Corona season. Vote, vote, vote. With your mask on. With your mask on. Socially distance. Hand sanitizer in purse, in toe, in pocket. Wash your hands. So anyway, uh, to wrap all of this up, uh, not much substance. Basically, when you looked at it, it was like which one was going to keep you awake while editing. It was Trump's town hall. I don't think that just much like the first presidential debate, I don't think that would have swayed too many people's opinions. You know, if you were already a live supporter, I can be an open Trump based off of that right. and vice versa. However, it may have swayed some of the audience. Yeah. So maybe. We need to see what those polls look like. Yeah. Anyway, as always, we appreciate your support. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'm carrying the directions for the microphone and yes. the camera that you guys have recently been yes. seeing. We're shooting all of this yes. on a budget, a small yes. uh, microphone and an iPhone. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, like I was saying, cash app, cola, the code. Dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign. I'm ahead. Now, check this out. Who taught you to hate the texture of your hair? Who taught you to hate the color of your skin? Who taught you to hate the shape of your nose and the shape of your lips? Who taught you to hate yourself from the top of your head to the soles of your feet? Who taught you to hate your own kind? Who taught you to hate the race that you belong to?
Welcome back to the Coalition of Color. If you're new to our channel, we're all about it. Now, I done forgot. What's up? And welcome back to the Coalition of Color. If you're new to our... What's up? And welcome back to the Coalition of Color. If you're new to our channel, we're all about uniting, educating, advancing, and developing our that all up. <laughs>